but it's the thing about family, you know, trusting your family. I, I, I feel I'm in a very fortunate position in that I feel that I can trust my family, but obviously it's not always the case. And I mean, Davina, I, I know in, in your life you you well, felt I had, betrayed. I had something like this. Yeah. I had my my mum um, sold a story. I just built bridges with my mum. We had a very complicated relationship. Get the book, you'll understand it. <laughs> um, and. Um, she sold a story about uh, our wedding and the fact that I go to Narcotics Anonymous meetings and that we'd gone to a meeting just before the wedding and sort of implied that I was about to relapse just before we got married, which I wasn't at all. I was so, I'd never been so happy, in fact. I was mm. the least likely to relapse um, ever. And sold photos of um, our honeymoon, um, which I, you know, I didn't sell pictures of our wedding or I didn't sell, and I didn't mm. sell pictures of the honeymoon or anything. Private. Um, I was just, and I never saw her again, and my, my children never met her because of it. So it's really devastating, mm. that kind of lack of trust. Did you I, ever get the chance to, well, I say I confront did. her, I don't mean necessarily. I did, I asked session, her but... about it, and to her it wasn't that big a deal. Did you, it, I mean, and she, she did it again <laughs> later. Really? Um, I never lived with her. It was a really complicated okay. relationship. I and think the was... worst thing about what your mum did, knowing the story, is that she betrayed you on two fronts. She betrayed your sobriety. Yes, well, this was the, the thing. The sobriety, the struggle you'd gone through mm. to give up addiction, to get mm. through it and to become sorry. So she just negated all of that. Mm. And then she sold your wedding, mm. the one thing that mm. brought you incredible yeah. happiness in your life. So it was and a it double betrayal. Us together like it was a real, I'd yeah. really really built a bridge with my mum and then my husband said right that's got to be it my sister never spoke to her again but I continued trying to build yeah. bridges Lisa you look really shocked by that I'm Somebody. just yeah obviously because I would say I'm, I was so blessed to have the most loving caring relationship with my mother mm. and to think that you haven't had that and of course by yeah. reading your book I've, I've been through it with you and yeah I mean your strength to have got through it because she let you down again and again you yeah. know and but you kept going back but to I try do, and build but, it up but at the same time because now it sounds like we're doing mother bashing and my mum was an amazing woman she just didn't I just don't think she knew how to behave to be it a mom like, to be a mom, to be a mom or yeah. even a human because yeah. I think like selling a story on somebody yeah. is kind of awful on a human well, level yeah and so it's like she a bigger level we often talk about that. well how could a parent do this how could a parent do that? Well, parents are just mm. people who have yes, children aren't they I was mm. and I did by the end you're the better I'm person of, you know if you look back now you, you, <clears> can, you can actually say to yourself I'm the better person mm. you know, but what I was asking you about earlier Sam was your relationship with your dad, dad and yeah. we started to talk he about that. He a story actually. Actually he outed me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. When I was he was your manager terrible. from when you were really, really young and you completely trusted him. Yeah. And then you had all this financial stuff going yeah. on. Yeah. Well him. he was my manager and um, I was very young. I was 16 and a half when I started. So everything, uh, you know, I was still getting pocket money in my 20s. He looked after everything. And um, yeah, I found out that I was missing a lot, a lot of money. I got investigated by the tax man because the independent said I was the fifth richest woman in Britain, which I wasn't. It was all an assumption. And that's when the tax, over a million quid it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I didn't even know I was worth that much. So obviously the tax man investigated me and that's when I found out I had so many bank accounts. I didn't even know. And did your relationship completely break down? Oh, yeah. I mean, in the end, I mean, I tried to talk to him, but he kept burying his head in the sand. In the end, I had to go to lawyers. It was ridiculous. And how is it now? Um, unfortunately, my dad died in oh. 2000. And how I, was it when he passed? I hadn't seen him for 10 years. Yeah, he died from alcohol mom. abuse and drugs, you well, know. My mum was an alcoholic. Yeah, and um, did, did you... I tried. You know, I tried like you. What and happened when so he died, though? Did you feel that you wanted to get to, to see him? He did ring me not long before, and, um... Well, not long... No, it was six, seven years before he died, actually. Um, mm. But I did go to see him, but... Then I, it turned out he was writing a book about me and our lives, how he made me into who I am, and uh, he just wanted a happy ending. And the, the book company was hoping to make a movie, and they wanted this happy ending, but it was all fake. So what, did you, you know, ever make any peace with him, or what did... Um, That's quite hard. The only way that, that I, I made peace, I didn't know that my dad had such a really bad problem until I was told. He was in a halfway house, and he, was, he had nothing, and it was pretty bad. And um, he died, and Myra, who I was with at the time, said to me, I think you should go and see your dad. 
I'd never even seen a dead body in my life, let alone my father. Mm. But I went there and I made my piece and I put a note in his pocket and a picture of me as Sam, no makeup, no fancy clothes, just me as Sam. And um, put a note and told him I'd forgive him, I forgave him, but I won't ever forget, Dad. If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments.